I think I've actually broken my toe just standing up then. Ah, ah, hi. I think I've broken my toe. Ah, fuck. Oh, for God's sake. I'm like on the edge of tears. Like, genuine. Put some ice on it. Put some ice on it. Well, that was not the intro I was expecting, but here we are. Seriously, I'm in so much pain. Right, I'm gonna put a hat on so I feel less like a goth. So for those of you that haven't watched my diet videos before, I'm gonna kind of explain the layout of them. So the first thing I do is explain whose diet it is and what the diet itself is, including the exercise that you have to do, things like that. After I've explained kind of what the diet is, I will show you my beginning measurements, kind of how my body looked at the beginning. Uh, I don't use weight because I just find that weight isn't a very good indication of size or how your body's doing or how healthy you are. Uh, so I use a measuring tape. So I will show you my before measurements. Then I will move into uh, the vlog for the three days that I was actually on the diet and I only ever do these diets for three days So they don't massively impact my health after I've done the vlog footage for the three days I show you guys my after measurements and then I talk about you know any pros that this diet has the cons Most of the time it's cons. I'm not gonna lie to you most of the times it's cons because these diets mainly are just disgracefully hard like and so yeah so far in this K-pop diet series, I've done IU's diet, I did Jimin's diet, and I'm now doing Wendy from Red Velvet's diet. Wendy from Red Velvet's diet is kind of a combination of her individual diet and the Deadly Weesung diet, which um, is pretty intense. I have to say the, the Deadly Weesung diet is actually a lot easier than this diet because they eat a lot of chicken on that diet, um, there's a lot of protein, you do have like some nutrition. This diet is is the most intense diet I've ever done. And I have to say, I honestly, everything I went through with the other diets was nothing compared to this one. Like I will never ever touch this diet again. It was horrible, absolutely horrible. Just about as horrible as the pain in my baby toe right now, actually. It's funny how that tied together. So the diet itself is half a cup of rice in the morning for breakfast and then half an apple for dinner. That's it just that. The calories that that is, so a cup of rice is 200 calories, so we've got half that, so you're at 100, and then half an apple is 50 calories. You're literally eating 150 calories a day, which isn't even, it's not even fasting, because fasting is 500 calories a day, it's just straight malnutrition. But it's not just the diet itself, it's also the exercise. So Wendy talks about um, having to run around the circle 40 times, jumping 3,000 rope, um, there's a lot of different exercises that you do, and doing like even one of those things is gonna burn off all of the calories that you've already eaten. That's not including your basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of calories you need just to have basic bodily functions like breathing, uh, digesting. Your basal metabolic rate obviously depends on a lot of things like your age, uh, your sex, your size, like your height. In general, um, we're looking at like 1,200 to 1,600 calories as a basal metabolic rate. And when you consider that this diet is only eating like 150, you're not even covering your basic bodily functions. It's ridiculous. Okay, so now I'm gonna hand you guys over to past Eleanor so that she can show you how miserable she was on this diet. Good morning, it's day one. I'm tired already. Um, I've been awake for a while now actually. It's like 1.52 p.m. So I haven't actually eaten the breakfast yet. So it's more like a lunch now, I guess, but it's not really cheating because um, I'm still eating the same amount of food. So I'm gonna go put my rice on now so that I can film it with the breakfast club, um, which is now being filmed at lunchtime, but whatever. I'm already kind of hungry, which is not a good sign considering I only get this and half an apple, so. And the gym, I've got to fit the gym in today. I've got quite a few bits to do. I've got a lot of filming to do today. We've got to get myself together. We've got to sort it out. We've got to get going. My skin is still a mess. It's healing, but it's it's not doing great. So we're gonna try and avoid makeup again today. Like I did in my most recent vlog, which by the way, you should go and watch. Let's go make some rice. How are we all doing? I'm knackered, I'm so tired. Um, just finished filming The Breakfast Club, which is gonna be up tomorrow. Breakfast Club is every Saturday, guys, by the way, just in case you didn't know. 
case you're new here, we talk about roughly 12% of what's going on on the internet over a nice breakfast. So, you know, if you fancy having a natter about what's going on in the YouTube world, head over to the breakfast club. I'll see you there. But yeah, half a cup of rice isn't actually a lot of rice. <laughs> I'm learning this, you know. I'm gonna be very hungry, I think, on this diet. It's just not enough food. And going to the gym as well, because obviously I've got to do um, the running in a circle, the jumping rope. Um, instead of running in a circle, I am just gonna run on the treadmill because it's not exactly clear how big the circle is. So I just figured I'd run on the treadmill for 10 minutes and that'll probably cover it. I'm super excited for that. But yeah, I'm probably gonna head to the gym at around six o'clock, which is in an hour and a half. My tummy is literally rumbling and I know the gum is gonna make me more hungry, but it keeps my mouth busy. That's gonna be taken out of context. Don't do it. I'll probably take you guys to the gym when I go, so I'll see you in like an hour and a half. I've just come back from the gym. I am exceptionally sweaty. I feel so gross. Um, I've got to go walk my dog now because she's looking kind of like she needs a walk. Good. This is rough, man. Like, I feel really rough. I genuinely don't know how these K-pop people do it. Like, bear in mind they're training every day, like six to ten hours, dancing and what God knows what else. And it's like, it's just not, it's not healthy. Like, I feel like ass. <laughs> I'm hoping that it gets easier over the course of the three days because obviously right now my body's kind of like used to eating the amounts that I was eating before. So I'm kind of hoping that it's the initial shock and once the initial shock is over, like, um my body can do fine on this but we'll get there we'll see i may pass out i may not who knows who knows half past 11 and i'm just now eating the other half of my apple for um dinner i feel so ill i have really bad like acid reflux i feel really dizzy like really unwell i'm not gonna lie i'm probably gonna cheat later on like maybe make some porridge just something to like tide me over because this is literally the worst diet i've done i feel disgusting like genuinely on the edge of tears disgusting so yay good morning final day of this diet i am so ready for it to be done i woke up i feel sick i feel like sick and bile um i have a cold as well which i'm imagining is because my body's feeling run down um <laughs> but i feel disgusting so we're not happy right now. I actually feel weirdly like bloated, which seems really bizarre to me because like I haven't eaten a lot of food. So I'm just kind of like, I'm wondering if I'm bloated because I haven't eaten a lot of food, which doesn't really make much sense to me, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, I'm just ready for this final day. I think I'm going shopping today with my mum because I need to get some bits for Halloween. Yay. Um, I'm going as a fallen angel. You're welcome. You're welcome for that. <laughs> I'm a gift to you. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. Um, I'm just gonna go put my rice on and then I'm gonna eat my rice because I'm fucking hungry. Steve. Oh, oh I used to like rice. Not anymore. So basically, I go out from the gym. I had my half an apple, um, it's now like 11 o'clock, I actually feel disgusting, like I feel awful, I was at the gym for like an hour and I legitimately felt like I was gonna die, <laughs> like I'm just having a glass of orange juice now because I just cannot function right now, cannot function, so I'm having some orange juice. I am never doing this diet again. This diet is disgusting. It's messed up. It's so messed up. I can't wait to be finished, honest to God. I'm just so not happy right now. You have no idea how happy I am this morning to wake up and be able to go downstairs and not eat rice. I'm so done with rice. No more rice for Elbat. Done with rice now for like another year. No rice. It's ruined rice for me, this diet has. It's ruined rice. 
and I will never forgive it for that. I'm gonna do my measurements now before I walk the dog. Only issue is, is because I've been hitting the gym quite hard in the last few days, I do have a pump on, like my muscles are quite swollen, so the results may not be as accurate as I'd hoped they would be, because I did a lot of weights. Um, so everything's a little bit swollen, so take these measurements with a pinch of salt. Um, I'll probably find out within the next few days once the pump goes down a bit, like what my size actually is, but um, bear in mind, you know, got a pump on for these measurements, so. May not be completely accurate, but there's not a lot I can do with that, so. Soz. Obviously you can see my measurements went down significantly in three days um, and that's even considering the fact that I did cheat a couple of times. Honestly, I have quite a lot of muscle and I'm also quite tall. Uh, I'm five foot nine, which is like 174, 75 centimeters. And I burn through calories quite fast because of my muscle, despite the fact that I do have a really slow metabolism. I, I could not maintain myself on this diet. I mean, no one can maintain themselves on this diet because you know, it's ridiculous. It's not even food, it's not a diet, it's just, starvation um but i couldn't just sample this diet and not get seriously unwell the thing about this diet that really really got me was the fact that there's literally no nutrition at all in any of this so white rice has literally no nutritional value at all it's just carbohydrates and yes carbs are really good because it's slow burning energy but white carbs are just like eating like it's not <laughs> It's not adding anything to your body. It's not one of your five a day. It's not adding protein. It's just carbs. And so it's not really anything substantial. Apples are really good at boosting your metabolism because they're quite difficult for the body to break down. But when you've got nothing to digest, when you're triggering your metabolism and your body to start digesting stuff, what you get when there's nothing to break down is loads of acid. And that was what I was really struggling with is my body was trying to digest food that wasn't there And so I had loads of like bile in my stomach, which kept bubbling up and giving me really bad acid reflux um, Indigestion It was awful. It was really really painful with I use diet. Yes. Okay It was mass restrictive still but you still had two of your five a day. You had a good source of protein You know you had healthy fats good carbohydrates. You weren't just eating empty calories that gave nothing to your body. That's why I think this is the worst diet. Yes, okay, I did lose a lot of weight in three days, but at the end of the day, it's not sustainable weight loss at all. Um, because for starters, you are slowing your metabolism down because it's not being used, it's trying to conserve its energy. So when you do start eating regularly again, you're gonna find that you put weight on faster because your metabolism is kind of damaged. You're gonna feel horrible. You're gonna be in a really bad mood because you've got no sugar in your blood. You're gonna be really tired and cold as well, especially in winter, which is awful, you know, being cold. Shout out to the anemics. I guess maybe the only plus of this diet is that it might be good for a detox. Um, if you just wanna do it for like one day to flush out your body, that might be able to help you. Um, but even so, if you were on a detox, I would recommend, you know, a fruit cleanse or a juice cleanse maybe, because you're still getting a substantial amount of calories that are putting goodness back in, rather than just putting nothing in. I just, I, I don't understand this diet. Because then on top of that, you've also got the exercise and you don't really have the energy to like function as a regular human being, let alone exercise anyway. And so that adds to your foul mood and your tiredness. And I personally always promote making healthier changes to your regular diet rather than going on a diet because I think that's a much more sustainable, it's a much more healthy way to maintain your figure, which is what I do. You know, I eat everything in, in balance and I, I exercise fairly regularly when I'm not being lazy. I do not understand how as a K-pop idol, when she is exercising so much and training so much, how she hasn't passed out. If maintaining that figure comes at the detriment of your health, I don't think it's worth it. In fact, no, it, uh, it's not that I don't think, it just isn't worth it. Because there are much healthier ways to maintain a smaller physique. I do want to clarify, this isn't her everyday diet. This is a diet that she did for a comeback. It was a really temporary thing. It's not permanent. She doesn't eat like this all the time. But even so, doing this for a short period of time is devastating for your health. It's so difficult to do anything on these diets. I just hope that kind of we get towards this, as a society, this image of 
healthy is is sexy you know healthy is good healthy is wonderful and healthy comes in lots of different shapes and sizes it's not a it's not a particular weight it's not a particular aesthetic i'm just hoping that we can move towards that as as a world as a global society as always guys don't do this diet i don't recommend this diet the reason i make these videos is to show you guys why they're bad and healthier alternatives i don't make these videos to promote the diet and its ability to ruin your body i make these diets to show the effects of them and to show you that yes whilst they are short term will give you a result that you probably will like long term that won't last and it will not do good things for your brain or your body thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a cheeky little thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down it's a free world you do you boo um and i now gotta try and hobble to birmingham with a broken foot <laughs> Well, it's not, ah, oh, I hit it on the floor. As I was saying, now I've got to get to Birmingham with a, with a broken toe. So, it's going to be fun. Bye.